good evening everyone a very warm welcome to all uh, to this uh, innovation club session activity which is also a part of the special campaign 3 of the swachh bharat abhiyan which has been launched by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi so as a part of the innovation club activities we have been regularly uh, hosting various uh, innovative topics uh, every month and the topics uh, which we have already hosted are, are recorded and have been uh, also posted in our YouTube channel of IGNO Regional Center Cochin. So students who are interested can also view our past recorded videos on the YouTube channel of IGNO RC Cochin. So today's topic uh, is about relevance of special campaign three for an adult learner and beyond uh, by a very Honorable resource person, Dr. J.S. Dorothy Madam, who is also our regional director at IGNO Regional Center, Cochin. Madam has a very distinguished career, academic career. She has uh, done her doctorate in education. She has uh, worked as a uh, deputy director of uh, Bijapur Regional Center, was also has worked in various regional centers across India mainly in Jaipur, Rajasthan, Bangalore, Chennai, and Bijapur. She has also a very good uh, academic credentials and professional credentials as well. She has also been volunteering for maintaining greenery and other aspects of, especially in creating roadside garden. And in fact, Madam has a very special interest in environmental aspects and uh, I'm very grateful to Madam that she agreed to be a part of this uh, session on a very short notice. And she's a, an internal person uh, as a part of IGNO Regional Center Coaching. So a very warm welcome to Dorothy Madam to this session. I hand over the session to her uh, to talk more about relevance of special campaign three for an adult learner and beyond. in this topic of relevance of special campaign three for an adult learner and beyond i'll be touching of what are the things one an individual can uh, do as an adult learner uh, in relevance to the special campaign uh, three the special campaign three is mainly for improving the swachata and the disposing of pending references from 2nd october 2023 to 31st october 2023 but it has two plans, I should say. So the launch of the special campaign three portal was uh, by the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, on 14th September at National Media Center, New Delhi. And the special campaign three was launched by the government of India on the same lines and theme of special campaign held in 2021 and 2022. And that's why this is called a special campaign three. And the special attention is given to field and outstation offices responsible for service delivery or having public interface in special campaign three. And it has two phases, the preparatory phase and the implementation phase. The preparatory phase is from 15 September to 30th September. And the implementation phase is from 2nd October to 31st October. So what, as an adult learner, being a part of a distance teaching institution, where a learner is away from the distance teaching institution and also the peer and also the person who wrote the study material, yet at the same time, the learner is also aware that he is part of the society, he is part of an employment force, he is part of a social movement, uh, an institution, in a family setup, in a society setup, and also uh, in the local community as an individual. So when you are away from the distance teaching institution, what are the things you can do? Is you can take the pledge, the Swatch pledge, all and the pledge to segregate. Both are available at the swachbharat.mygovernment.in. And you can visit this page. The Swatch pledge is also there. Individual pledge, community pledge is also possible. And the uh, pledge to segregate, uh, that is uh, how uh, in, in two dustbin, the wet waste the in green and the dry waste in blue, that, is, that pledge also you can take as an adult learner. And 
the individual pledge and the mass pledge is also possible in uh, the same uh, website uh, swachbharat.mygovernment.in and the mass pledge by organization and institution is also possible so if you are employed as uh, but still you are an adult learner in a distance teaching institution you can encourage your institution or whether uh, an organization or an institute to take the mass pledge also and the pledge highlights individual dedication to cleanliness so community society all may contribute but what is our an individual uh, or a person as an individual how he is dedicated to cleanliness may uh, determines uh, the sustenance of the cleanliness the upkeep and cleaning of inside and outside of place of stay place of work is also encouraged so how as a place of stay whether where we are staying whether in the family or away from the family or with, uh, where you are working in dispersed location in remote location are you still confident of uh, working from home or integrating hybrid situation of moving to the premises and also working from home so all this matters when it keeps to upkeep of cleaning of inside and outside sustenance of cleaned space is also a a challenge uh, to be uh, encountered upon cleanliness so it uh, as an adult learner of a distance teaching institution you can contribute for the sustenance of the cle cleaned place and also sustenance of cleaning as an activity that also at periodic intervals so maybe for some cleaning activity or daily to be done some are weekly some are monthly some are more than bi monthly and some are quarterly also activity so what is the activity in your calendar do you have a cleaning activity calendar for your family and also for the institution where you are working is also one of the uh, checklist for you to follow and in the year 2021 the united nations climate change conference more commonly referred as cop26 because it cop refers to the conference of parties to the united nation framework convention on climate change and it it was the 26th um, unfccc so united 26th united nations climate change conference it was held at scotland from 31st october to 13th november in the year 2021 and during this cop26 india proposed life that is lifestyle for environment the abbreviation i is in small because many a time we put i when we are writing i it is always in capitals whereas in this life it is small because when it comes to a lifestyle for environment we are a small part when it comes to the major society commitment and and for that too for a cause of environment and it is to incorporate nationally determined contributions that emphasizes the urgency of resolving the crisis faced by the planet through human centered communal effort and action that promotes sustainable development so what is the lifestyle for environment in our individual life if you want to visit more about the lifestyle for environment i given the link also you can visit and be educated of what are the various outcome of the cop 26 uh, further and as of now i also just want to highlight the word life which means lifestyle for environment today there is a need for all of us to come together and take lifestyle for environment forward as a campaign this is uh, the quote of our prime minister at cop 26 and this life style for environment can also become a mass movement towards an environmentally conscious lifestyle so what an adult learner can do please educate yourself motivate others to be educated on the various concepts of how one can prepare uh, uh, themselves as an individual for cleanliness activity and also sustenance of cleanliness activity reduce wastage of anything whether it is fuel food water clothes 
books or goods recycle anything which is not in use water uh, clothes cardboard paper and catch the natural resources whether it is water or the solar power and avail of the soft copy of the study material so that the print uh, medium is not uh, used so the 15% fee concession also is given by igno as a distance teaching institution to the learners who opt for soft copy of the study material bring or carry your food when you visit the learner support center and also bring your own bag when you come to collect the study material decide to repair items before buying uh, deciding to buy a new one or when you are trying to replace one and remember you are what you eat so be wise in the food you eat or you choose to eat flush toilets after use keep toilet seat clean for the next person to use have the view my waste i am responsible for the disposal of my waste so and i also as i had adult learner uh, you can uh, enrich yourself by reading this life brochure available in the link mission life and it talks about energy saving actions water saving actions single use plastic reducing actions sustainable food system adopting actions waste reducing actions healthy lifestyle adopting actions e waste reducing actions so when such uh, actions uh, the uh, has been listed listed in the life brochure it can also serve as a self check uh, of what action we are adhering to as an individual uh, which has been specified in the life brochure and a take home message is sustenance of cleanliness and commitments to do what an individual has to do today without worrying about tomorrow it has to be sustained as a motive to maintain a, a safe environment and also to ensure of how best we can take cleanliness in our uh, integrate cleanliness in our day to day life thank you for being with us now uh, if you want to take any questions it's welcome so please uh, feel free ma'am i had a question ma'am it's not about the topic i was actually a student for cpv for value education and tomorrow is the last day i actually haven't completed entirely my assignment so i'm really worried will there be any extension of the last day for submission see ma'am you are uh, submission of assignment is a prerequisite for giving in your exams okay and uh, the uh, when you are uh, unable to write automatically you will come to the next session but there is always a element of see suppose you are going to submit instead of today you are going to submit it tomorrow that is all always welcome but ma'am can i do it in the next next session will i have to pay anything once registered it's valid for 2 years okay ma'am so thank you ma'am friends we take this opportunity also to share that the igno admissions are open even now and you can uh, get admission into igno program using the samarth portal and as a innovation club activity we also encourage uh, to study any program or course we call it a course one subject from the swayam portal s w a y a m because this swayam portal gives you opportunity to get accustomed accustomed to the course before you pay the fees so be benefited of this opportunity given by the government of india for all learners um, to use the massive online open course to empower themselves to add on their education qualification for better employability thank you dorothy madam for the excellent presentation in fact ma'am has given very very valid points uh, which is applicable as an adult learner to our daily life uh, which we can usually practice as a part of our daily life 
and uh, as a part of this as i said before this is a part of the swachhta uh, swachhta abhiyan that is a special three campaign 3.0 campaign which has been launched by the honorable prime minister of india so i request all students uh, uh, to kindly be a part of this campaign and uh, adhere to the points which have been mentioned uh, by our resource person dr j s torathi madam she has very rightly highlighted the various uh, points which you as you need to adhere to as an adult learner like we can switch off our lights when we go out from a room some very basic simple things which can, which we can adhere in our daily life so i uh, wholeheartedly thank her for the valuable inputs in case you have any doubts and queries please kindly uh, ad address it here now in case we do not have any doubt and queries i will request my colleague dr vt jalaja kumari madam to kindly share her views and also deliver the vote of thanks <clears throat> thank you dr prasida Uh, dear students, it was really an enriching session by Dr. Yes Dorothy Madam, our regional director. Uh, this session is a national important session. Three point zero is the event which uh, our government of India is going to be implemented, and uh, motivating all the students and the individuals of uh, India to do some efforts from our side to. Uh, keep sustainable development as a very major uh, objective of our day-to-day uh, -day life. And I request uh, you uh, to practice all the points what Madam has told. And uh, uh, we are very much thankful to Dr. Gaye's Dorothy Madam for giving a very accurate, relevant points. Very briefly, uh, how you all can. be the part of this uh, 3.0 mission and uh, once again on behalf of rc coaching for formality because madam is an internal person even though for the formality of this session i convey our uh, regards and uh, greetings and thanks to ma'am for giving such a uh, good session for us and dear learners you had uh, your queries you raised it we have cleared it out and we thank on behalf of rc coaching all the students who have participated in this and my dear colleagues of regional center coaching uh, to be the part of this uh, program once again i convey our thanks to all of you thank you very much uh, for being the part of this and uh, we will be very much thankful to you if you are following the points shared by madam in your life Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you all. We may we may now leave the session.